Through two weeks of action, Montana State has proven to be a powerhouse once again in the FCS, sitting steadily at number four in the national polls. And while their two lopsided victories to start the year shouldn't be overlooked, their week three opponent is a level of play they haven't seen yet as they travel to Portland to take on Oregon State. This week, the you know again on paper, all that the the challenge is much greater, and, and that's uh, a lot of respect goes to Oregon State. You know, really impressive what Coach Smith has done in his time there, um, going back to his alma mater and, and really not not only stabilizing it but uh, raising their their level. For the first time since 2014, Oregon State is off to a 2-0 start, most recently coming off a program-defining win at Fresno State thanks to this gutsy play call in the final snap of the game. With just three seconds left on the clock, the Beavers decided to go for it rather than kicking a field goal to tie, and it paid off, making history along the way, winning in Fresno for the first time in program history. You know, finding a way to win like they did on, uh, on Saturday night, those moments, um, coaches and players are, are moments that you really build off of, and I, I'd imagine for them uh, it was a really big deal. It's a level of intensity the Bobcats are expecting to see again this Saturday, closing out non-conference play in what's supposed to be a sold-out crowd of more than 25,000. We're going to have our hands full. they got a lot of good players, um, a lot of experienced players on both sides of the football, and, you know, we do too. You know, I think our guys are prepared to do that. A player high on their scouting report this week is Jack Coletto, the Beaver Swiss Army Knife and Wildcat quarterback in Saturday's win. The redshirt senior is listed as an inside linebacker, but also leads the team in touchdowns with three recorded on the ground so far. You know, they're, they're being very creative in how they're using him, and, um, and I'd imagine they've only shown you know, part of what they're capable of doing. That's why one of the big goals on Saturday is limiting red zone appearances, a stat that boasts 100% efficiency so far this season. I think what they're trying to do as a team is really play complimentary football. You, know, you can tell on offense that they have a plan to, to run it and then the, um, they have a plan to be able to spread people out and everything in between. And defensively, Vegan didn't shy away from the fact that Oregon State's front might be one of the best groups they face all season, which is why ball protection is going to be key this weekend, especially winning the turnover margin. There's hitting yarders or stuff like that, but the turnover margin is where you see the real difference between the winners and the losers of any game. So I feel like us just hold it, keep holding on to the ball offensively and then us forcing takeaways, getting more takeaways defensively, that's going to pay huge dividends come Saturday. Montana State versus Oregon State kicks off in Portland at Providence Park Saturday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. In Bozeman, Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.